Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the average PPC specialist work week and I'm just going to go over my Monday with you. So Monday I was really busy um, you t from 8, sometimes clients contact you at 7 but that's very rare on occasions but from 8 until I would say, um, is this camera kind of slight off, slightly off? Hold on. Yep, I think that is better. So from 8 until until 5 or 6, sometimes 7 at night, 8, 9, 10, I've been on clients with until 11 p.m. at night. You are at the mercy of your clients making requests, changes, and things of that nature. But after then, you have to actually do the PPC. So my schedule is very, very clear. I work weekends, I work holidays. Uh, I get this question a lot. Why do you work holidays? Well, it's because other PPC specialists are not working holidays and holidays for auto at least and many other industries mattresses are when regular people have off and those regular people when they have off are going to spend money. So during the regular work week, you're not going to spend money, right? You, maybe you buy some stuff on Amazon, maybe not. But when you have off, you like a whole day off, then you can go car buying, you can go to Best Buy, you buy some electronics, you can buy some cameras. I mean, it's just logical that when other people have off, that's when you need to hit them the most because they have the most time and to make a purchase. So the average PPC work week for me is between uh, eight and six. And then after six is over, I take a, a break until 10 p.m. or midnight. And then from midnight until two is when I actually do the work or midnight until three. It depends, like 11, 10, normally it's 10 to two, but it's been kind of hectic since the buyout. Uh, the buyout went well. Um, I'm very happy. I'm incredibly happy with where I am right now in life uh, and the company. I'm no longer super embarrassed at Runrex. I mean, the buyout was way more expensive than it could should have been or I would estimate that. It, but just having that freedom, having the freedom where you don't need to pay your investors back every penny that you make in profit. Uh, we, we paid them 100% of profit back. They never gave us a dime. They never gave us a single client. And they themselves were kind of a marketing, pseudo marketing agency. And they never ever gave us like any of you know their marketing, which is kind of ridiculous if you think about it, that they own 71% of marketing agency that they tell other companies not to use. And, and I have records of it. They've told other companies that they knew that were asking for marketing not to use us, even though, you know, it doesn't make any sense because they get 100% of profit. So yeah, that's my average work week. I take off half a day on Sunday. I take out half a day Saturday, but I work Mondays through Fridays. And you know, that's the schedule. Um, from eight until five, I'm on the phone with clients a lot. And occasionally I can do some work, but I would probably say the split between work and client talking is 50-50 on from eight to five on weekday, uh, weekdays. And then on night times from 10 to two is when I actually do all the work. Uh, the PPC, the SEO, and the blogging. The blogging has been pretty good lately. I think we can take on some more blogging. Our blogs are excellent, by the way. If you follow Gutterless, which is now hacked, though do not follow it right now. Uh, Gutterless, PPC Hire, Panda Pattern. We have like a bazillion blogs at all time. Jessica does about 40 blogs a week, which is fantastic. 40 blogs a week is really where you want to be at uh, in terms of volume. So that's about 160, 200 blogs a month, which is incredible. That's really high. Um, hopefully we can get over, like 250 would be insane, right? And we do blogs for ourselves. Like I do what I think works. So social media right now, uh, we have clients who do social media, but we've done it ourselves and it has been lukewarm at best. So right now I'm kind of like, okay, maybe we should just invest more in blogs because the blogs are helping us, right? The blog, there's nothing better than a blog. So maybe we just get another blogger or maybe we pay our blogger more money to be more, mo I mean, she's already incredibly motivated. So the average PPC specialist work week is very long. Uh, you will work weekends or you should be working weekends and you should be working holidays. Now, I know a lot of people think work-life balance. Let me put it this way. If it's Labor Day, and we know Labor Day is a very good day to sell mattresses, let's say, 
and your PPC specialist is not working that day because there are some agency in Florida or some agency in California and they have, you know, off that day. I'm going to annihilate that competitor. Like, I'm going to take all your keyword, bid one cent more, have a better quality score, so I don't even need to bid one cent more logically. But I'm going to figure out what keyword, what tax you're going to do, and I'm going to one-up you. So when you put, oh, 50% savings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 51% savings, right? Obviously, after talking to the client. And then when you're going to spend $1,000 that day, I'm going to spend like $2,000, $2,500. If you get lazy and you're spending the same on Labor Day that you spend on a normal weekday, I'm going to crush you. Because I'm not going to spend the same on a weekday because I know my conversions. I know people are going to buy mattresses on Labor Day. They're not going to buy a mattress on Wednesday of a random week. So that is why, you know, I can, I do what I do is I put more hours into it. I'm not smarter. I don't think, I mean, yes, I have better educational background than the majority of people in this field from NYU and William Mary Law School, Patent Bar 21, blah, 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 New York State Bar. But at the end of the day, if I was lazy and I wasn't competing on holidays, I would get blown out by just a random dude who's working hard. And I truly, truly believe that that at the uh, core, fundamental core of digital marketing is how much time you put in. Digital marketing changes so fast that in a blink of an eye, what you knew was true yesterday is no longer true. And you need to figure out and you need to adapt. And if you are running, I have this email and I've been talking about this email. I really want to publish it. Huge marketing agency. They're out in California, but everyone in Houston uses them pretty much. Uh, dentists, lawyers, everybody uses them. Um, and they do such a bad job. The director of internet marketing, uh, he's also an Asian guy, he said, and you know, point blank, oh, we don't really care if we no, no one logged into analytics. Like, it, it wasn't embarrassing. He didn't take responsibility. No one logged, no one, he did not, his team did not, not a single member of his team logged into Google Analytics for nine months and the only reason they they would they caught I caught them in the lie because I said how were you able to log in if the password has been changed? Can you log in now? And they're like, oh no we can't. The password's changed nine months ago. The fact they could not log in tells me that they did never log in. If the password's changed nine months ago, the first question they would ask is, hey, uh, and this is nine months ago, hey you changed the password. Um, we are trying to log in. Can you tell us the new password? Nah, we're good. No one should ever log in. We're going to make a fake dashboard and pretend everything is okay. And that's what they did. I mean, I would love to publish that email because it's so, and it's not, it's not just that part. I asked for free items and all free items are crap. Uh, all free items, if you were a digital marketer, you would know was BS. You would be like, oh shit, these people did nothing. And that's why this, um, I mean, and they're proud of it. They're proud of it. I mean, in an email, it comes off as, wow, we did a great job. No one logged into the, that, the platforms in nine months, but we still did a great job. Anyway, that, that's it. Bye, guys.